Welcome back to our Chem 151 video series. In this video, we will be working a problem that involves specific heat and heat calculations. This problem gives us an aluminum pot where we're given a weight and a specific heat. We're also given that the pot has 2,000 grams of water, and we're given water specific heat. And we're asked how much heat will it take to increase the temperature from 20 to 95 degrees Celsius. We'll have to start with our heating equation. Our heating equation looks like this. Q equals M times C times T final minus T initial. The Q in this equation stands for heat. Heat will usually be measured in joules when you use this equation, abbreviated with a J. The M stands for mass, and in this equation we usually use grams. C stands for specific heat. The units we'll be using for specific heat is joules per gram Kelvin. T final and T initial stand for temperatures. Now these temperatures can be represented in degrees Celsius or Kelvin for this class. This is different from other equations you've used where you've had to use Kelvin. For this heating equation, either one is fine. If we're going to find the amount of heat it takes to heat this pot and this water, we have to first write that the total heat is equal to the heat needed by the aluminum plus the heat needed by the water. Each of these heats will have its own heating equation to go with it. Therefore, we'll start by writing the heat for the aluminum is the mass of aluminum times specific heat of aluminum times T final minus T initial plus the heat needed for the water, which is the mass of water times the specific heat of water times T final minus T initial. Let's take stock of the things we know. We are given in the first line the mass of aluminum and the specific heat for aluminum. The mass of aluminum is 750 grams times the specific heat, which is 0.903. We multiply this times T final minus T initial. The temperatures are given in line 3. The final temperature is 95 and the initial temperature is 20. So we put 95 minus 20 in the parentheses. We'll add this to the mass of the water which is given in line 2, as is the specific heat. The mass is 2,000 grams, specific heat is 4.18, and we'll now place the temperatures, just as before, in that parentheses. We'll write 95 minus 20. Add this together, and this will give you the total heat. You can place all of this into the calculator at once. If we do the math, we'll get 697,774 joules. If you want to find this heat in kilojoules, which you may be asked for, you can multiply this by one more conversion factor to get out of joules and into kilojoules. According to the SI system, one kilojoule is the same as 1,000 joules, and so if we do this final operation, we'll get 697,774 kilojoules. If we adjust this to the proper amount of significant figures, we would answer 698 kilojoules. So this is how we use mass and specific heat to find the heat that it takes to heat something up. If our temperature was going down, we could also find the amount of heat being lost from that item. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you again soon.